friends. My name is Laura. This is Ash Alicart. Welcome back to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. Give me some love and share. Um, so tonight I was in another town and there was a county market and I realized I haven't done a $20 challenge at county market yet. So I went ahead and dove right in. I could not get my phone to load, so I did not know what the ad was. Um, I had seen that they had like some of their penny pincher coupons, but I didn't really know what they were until I got into the store. And then luckily I got my phone to load so I could get the coupons. So I spent, it was $20 and 21 cents and 22 cents in tax. So I spent a total of $20.43. I think that's pretty good. And I'll show you the receipt in a second and then I will show you what I bought. Let me flip you around. So here's my receipt, County Market. I don't really guess I care if you know where I went out of town. Um, $20.43, 22 cents of that was taxed. So I spent $20.21. And my calculation was $20.15, so I thought I did pretty good on that. All right, so let's see what I got. So I got two cans of Van Camp's pork and beans and tomato sauce. These were a penny, penny pincher item. They were $0.69 cents a can. Yes. And then I picked up this can of Hunt's pasta sauce. I don't know why I grabbed four cheese. For some reason, I thought I grabbed mushroom, but I got four cheese. That was on for 88 cents. I grabbed this 10 pack of cheese sticks. It was 10 ounces. They was on for $1.99. I got two Roma tomatoes. They were $1.49 a pound, and this was 0.32 pounds, so these two were 48 cents. A bag of mixed vegetables that was hmm a dollar no that's the bread onions tomatoes frozen a dollar eighty nine they had um, the steamable ones that were cheaper <coughs> but you got more so I went ahead and went with this one I got one pound of rice for a dollar nineteen. I got this Nor chicken bouillon. This was a dollar forty nine. I got a half a dozen of eggs. Aren't they the cutest little things you ever saw for ninety nine cents? Um, I got a head of cabbage. This was two point two eight pounds at sixty nine cents a pound. So this was a dollar fifty seven. I got one yellow onion. This was 0.76 pounds at 88 cents a pound. So this was 67 cents. I got a loaf of white bread. A loaf of white bread. That was $1.69. And then my favorite item of the day was that I got two pounds of Farmland Classic Hickory Cut, Hickory Smoked Classic Cut Bacon. So I got two pounds. They were buy one, get one free. So they were $7.99. I will show you that right here. And then they had $1 off coupons. on. So I grabbed two of those. So I paid for two pounds of bacon, $5.99. So I already came up with like a plan in my mind about what I can do with this. Um, and I hope that it comes out how I hope, how I want it to, I guess. Um, but I am going to use, I'm going to cook up all of the bacon and save the bacon grease. Actually, some of it I'm going to leave and use it raw, but probably a pound and a half of it I'm going to pre-cook. I'm going to, the one that I leave raw, I'm going to dice up. And then saute some cabbage up with some bacon. That's going to be probably a couple of lunches. Um, I'm going to do 
bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches for six breakfasts. The seventh breakfast will probably just be bacon sandwich. Um, I'm going to use some of the cabbage, onion, the chicken bouillon, and the mixed vegetables and the pasta sauce to make soup. That will probably be the majority of my dinners. And then I'm going to cook up the white rice and do some beans with onion. I'm going to like cook up the onion, the heat up the beans and serve it over the rice. And this was for a, um, when I, oh, I could do a bacon and tomato sandwich on the day. I mean, this was just an added produce. But I thought about it with bacon sandwich, bacon, egg, and tomato sandwich. So, this is everything. I think that this will stretch decently. There was enough bread in here for 11 total sandwiches. And if I did seven for breakfast, I did think about um, using some of the cheese to make grilled cheeses to go with the soup. So, we'll just see what I come up with. All righty. I'll bring you back when I get in the kitchen. That glare on that cabbage is pretty ridiculous. I figured I should put a disclaimer in here. So, an incident at my ha out my house happened, and my <laughs> island and my tripod got broken. So, my current filming is going to be using my study hand. So, just give me a little bit to, I should have a new one this week, but, um, yeah, it's a little frustrating. So, I will see you when I get cooking. It will probably be tomorrow. Bye for now. All right, so I'm getting ready to start by prepping the bacon for the meals that I got from County Market. So I'm just going to put them on a tray. I got two out just in case I needed a second tray. Let's we'll see. I'm going to pre-cook most of it, but I am going to keep some to cook with some cabbage. And I'm going to do that while this is in the oven. So, all right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the foil onto this other sheet.
gonna pull out all the bacon from this one. And like I said, I'm just gonna save a couple of pieces. So I'm gonna get all the rest of it lined up. pieces of bacon left so I might have to squish some more but it'll be fine. All right, my oven is preheated. We're gonna stick these into the oven. Oh, hold up. bacon and toss it in. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. All right. I know I've already said this, but it really sucks that my kitchen is like all tore up right now. no room. All right, so start with all this yummy goodness. Now, 
Oh my gosh, I wasn't even recording. So I put onion in, cabbage, and bacon. I added onion powder and garlic powder. And I'm gonna go put a couple of pieces of toast in the uh, uh, toaster. And then in a minute, when this gets a little bit more cooked up, I'll throw in a couple of eggs because I think it's gonna be two breakfasts. So I'm just keeping this going. I'm gonna man it smells really good. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more black pepper because it's my favorite. I don't want to put salt because of the bacon. Let's taste it for flavor. My eye is like twitchy today. Okay. I am going to add a little bit salt. Mm. Really good. Stuff. All right. All right, I'm gonna cook two eggs in here. Actually, I think I'm just gonna do one egg. I don't know if I want it. I got six eggs. So, I'll add one egg to this and kind of scramble it in. And then that can be two meals with that little bit of extra protein. So we're gonna do Salt, pepper, and then we'll just kind of scramble it into all of the yummy goodness. And then I have two breakfasts that I use one egg for, and then I will have eggs for five more breakfasts. That sounds like a deal. All right, I'm turning this off. I'm going to put about half of it on this plate. And then the other half I'm going to put into, don't forget this pan gets so hot. I'm going to try to divide it about equally. I can make the toast in the morning while this is heating up. And then I'll have two breakfasts. My breakfast for today and this is the breakfast for day two I'm gonna let that cool before I put it into the oven but I'm gonna try this we got some bacon and onion and cabbage mmm mmm and eggs and then just some toast mmm 
gonna go eat my breakfast. Bacon. Today I need to make coffee. I don't even know what time it is. 11 now. I ate a late breakfast. We're not eating lunch. It's Labor Day. We're not eating lunch until like 3 I think. So. I'm gonna take my bacon. I don't want to waste all the glorious goodness of the bacon fat, so I will be saving that. So. I'm really having a good day. Mason jar. And I'm just gonna make a spout. Just kind of, I need another uh, pad. Okay. I just kind of try to make a little trail for it to go right into my jar. Some of the bacon was definitely crispier than the other bacon, which is fine. And I didn't filter my bacon grease, so it's considered dirty. So I have to keep it in the refrigerator. But if, when I use it, it will definitely add some extra yumminess to whatever it is that I'm cooking. If I would have filtered the grease through like a coffee filter, then I would be able to leave it on the counter. And normally I would just add this into my other bacon grease jar that I have in the fridge, but since I'm doing this as a cooking challenge, I figured that I would salvage just for the challenge. So you can see it's got like little pieces in it. We're gonna use this later to cook up some other stuff. Um, I'm just gonna throw these away, but I'm gonna let them cool before I put them into the trash can. And I'm going over to my parents for lunch, but I might come back in here and make one of the meals for later. We'll see. All right, see you again soon. Bye. All right, I'm taking some bacon fat and I'm 
I'm just going to rub it on the bread. I'm going to turn this burner on. I'm just doing two pieces of bread. I'm gonna take one string cheese. If I can open it. And I'm just going to try to spread out the cheese a little bit. And then once I get this all kind of together, I'm going to take a couple of my pieces of bacon. Um, I think three is going to be a good number. Put some bacon. And then last. I'm gonna put some tomato on there. So it's kind of like a mock BLT. I don't have lettuce, but if you do, please add it. I'm just gonna put you one more little slice. I'm gonna do this for a couple of different lunches, but there, grab my Spatula. I've never made a grilled cheese with bacon grease before, but it sounded like a really good idea. I'm going to kind of flip. Alright, I'm going to let that go for just a minute longer. I don't know how melty that cheese will get, but it'll be nice and toasty anyways. Let me grab the plate while we're waiting. I didn't realize how bad the sunlight was. Hopefully you can see it. All right, I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna take it, flip it off. That looks delicious. I'm gonna cut my sandwich. And we're going to take a taste. Mmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to go eat this. Good morning. It's like way too early. It's 5, 15. I've been up since 3 because I couldn't sleep. And I have not been productive, but I did shower. I'm going to throw together a couple of breakfast sandwiches, one for today, 
one for tomorrow because I have baking a cake tonight. So um, I'm just going to cook up the eggs. I'm going to toast my bread, heat up the bacon that I'm going to use today. And then I'm just going to put the sandwich together for tomorrow. The bacon is cold and that is fine because I'll be heating it tomorrow. So I'll take you along. So I got my pan. I'm going to get that turned on. I have my bacon grease I saved from last, the, from the bacon. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Let it heat up. I'm just going to cook two eggs to make two sandwiches. Salt and pepper. Might be enough for both sandwiches. Struggling this morning. All right. 
And then sandwich for the day. Take a bite. Mmm. Perfect. You gonna eat breakfast? Put the other one in the fridge for tomorrow. And I'll see you when I'm back in the kitchen. It's time for me to tackle some cooking. So I'm going to chop up this onion and then I'm gonna start frying up the onion and bacon grease. And then I'll chop the cabbage up and add the cabbage also. You know, all good things. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cut it like tiny, tiny, but I don't want it giant. If that makes any sense to you, congratulations. You speak Lauranese. I'm gonna take you over with me and get the oven going, or the stove. I totally thought I was recording. I got this heating, I put in some baking grease. If I need more, I have more to add. I'm gonna toss in my onions. And then I'm gonna take you back over and cut up the cabbage. So when I cut this the other day, I just cut a chunk off. So I gotta core it. And then we're just gonna use the rest of it. So I'll start with this part. Put my onion trash on here too. Get it out of our way. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to kind of finely shred it, I guess I would say. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want it to be like too long of pieces, but I don't want it to be in giant chunks either. I want it to cook quick and be delicious. Once I get the cabbage in and cook for a little while, we're going to add in my bag of mixed vegetables. And then we will um, add in my can of pasta sauce and my chicken bouillon. Whoa! I'm going to go dump this and then come right back to continue chopping. You can't cut a whole lot on these little chopping boards, but they're cute. Just went ahead and gave that a little stir. 
I'll probably need to just do a little piece of this one and then dump and come back for the final shopping. Smelling good in here. I dropped it. I guess I'm good. I'm done with it. All right, I'm gonna go dump this and then take you over there with me. All right, so I got all of the cabbage, all of the onion in here. I just did that with a little bit of the bacon grease. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more just because that was quite a bit more than I thought. To now cabbage cooks down, but it also adds flavor to that bacon grease. I'm going to do salt. I mean pepper. Oh my lord. Now salt. I need to re figure out how to film from the other side. Garlic, onion powder, and we're going to let that cook for a minute. While I open the can so we can dump the can into the pot also. My biggest problem is, is that where I kept my can opener is out of commission still. So where would it be? I'm not thoroughly enjoying this. I cannot wait for my kitchen to be back to how I want it to be. I'm going to pause. Not even sure what I recorded or not, but I have I put four bouillon cubes in here, which would be for eight cups of water, and then I put three quarts of water in, and my bag of mixed vegetables. So I've used there's six cubes in here, and I've used four of them, so I have two more I can use, and then I am trying to find my can opener and I can't find it but when I do I will put that in and bring you back for that. All right I'm dumping in the tomato sauce. So things are already better right? I'm recording. <laughs> yeah. I've been having a rough day. Anywho I'm dumping in the tomato sauce. I am going to put a little water in here. Judge it around. I'll be right back. 
All right, so I just dumped a little bit of water, got my, this looks good, it smells good. I'm hungry, let's taste it. See if I need to add anything else. Okay, we're going in with pepper. Actually, I was going to say salt, but I think I'm going to put in another bouillon cube. But pepper for sure. I'm going to go one bouillon cube. And... I'm gonna judge in some more onion powder and garlic powder. Dish myself up a little bit because I'm hungry. My mom's probably going to start answering me again because she thinks I'm talking to her. Nope, I'm wrong. She heard me. All right. Ow, that is hot. All right. I'm going to give it a taste. I can't hold the bowl, it's too hot. But. Mmm. Delicious. It's it's delicious. It's delicious. I'll be back later to show you how many servings I get. I'm gonna eat one for dinner and then I'll dish up the rest. So I got six more meals, so that was a total of seven cabbage soups. Yay! It was really good. Good morning, friends. I'm going to make my last um you breakfast new bridges. So I'm gonna get some of my bacon grease in here. While that's going, I'm gonna pop some toast in the oven in the toaster oven, not the toaster, not the oven. I'm going to make all of my last three up, so they'll be ready to just microwave in the mornings. All right. I'm going to crack all three eggs that I got left. Then we're gonna salt pepper. sandwiches. I'm going to salt and pepper this side too.
some cheese on these ones. So I'm going to give them another flip so that that yolk can kind of cook. And then I'm going to grab some of the string cheese that I bought and just kind of put some on here to melt a little bit. And then once I get this, I'm going to heat up some of the bacon. last of my bread on the toaster so I'll go grab that and then we'll transfer the eggs and get the bacon warming all right so I'm just gonna pop them onto my plate I feel like I could go further out a little bit and then I'll toss in some bacon to get it warming up. These smell really good. All right and then bacon. So I'm going to do about a slice and a half probably per I'll be like one sandwich, another sandwich, a piece for my mouth, and I still have about that much bacon left for a couple of items. And then I'm just going to leave this pan here because this awesome baking pot I can use later when I'm making my next meals up. one of these for today and then I will have breakfast prepped in the fridge for the next few days so I'll show you what these deliciousness look like and then I'll just cover this one I think this is gonna be really hot but I'm gonna go for it I don't know how this videoing moves, but looks delicious. Mmm. It's so good. So simple. All right. I'm going to eat that. Let these cool, and then I'll get them in the fridge. So this is my rice pot. And I am going to cook my pound of rice up. All right, so I'm just gonna use my um, measurements on there to fill my pot, but I have one bouillon cube left. I'm gonna toss in with this to give it a little extra flavor. So I'm at like 
right below the half of the one quart. So I'm gonna fill it with water and get this on to cook in my rice cooker. So here is my pan that I used for breakfast. I'm gonna turn the heat on. I'm going to grab my bread. I'm gonna make two sandwiches on here. So I'm gonna grab my bacon grease. And I'm gonna just put a little bit on my bread. I'm gonna do two slices down. And then on that, I'm going to put some of my string cheese. And bacon and tomato. Make a couple of bunches. So for each piece, I'm gonna put one whole string cheese that I kind of pull apart. Pretty good. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of bacon. I'm going to go with two pieces each, so once I have them torn. And then I'm going to grab tomato. Just like that. I'm gonna put my spatula. I'm gonna flip over the top on here. Oh yeah. And then see if we can get that a little warmed up. Meanwhile, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just starting with the one piece of bread. For the second sandwich and I did turn down my heat a little bit so I'm not over browning. I'm gonna put the cheese down and I'm just gonna this all nice and spread across here I'm gonna grab my plate I'll flip this one out oh, yeah I do like mine toasty so I had the heat up a little high, but it will be perfect for me. I'm gonna put some bacon grease on this piece of bread and get it in there too. Okay, all right. And then same thing, I'm going with two slices of bacon and then the rest of the bacon is going into dinner tonight with that rice. All right, let me grab the other tomato.
juicy. All right. Going to flip the. Oh yeah, it's still too hot. That's it. Okay. This side might be way too. Oh well. Just pretend you don't see that I burnt it. But I do like it that way, so I'm gonna let that side cook for a minute. And I was gonna say this is gonna be two lunches, but I think I'm gonna eat them both. So one for you, it might be two. Or if I wanted like part of one as a side to that soup I made yesterday. I'm very excited about this. The, I'm, I should have just moved that, but the glare of my orange pot on there made me think that it was still on the fire was still on. All right, oh yeah, that's cheesy. Cheesy, delicious goodness. All right, this should be my final meal. I got some bacon here. I'm just gonna kind of tear apart and add it to my pan. I don't know, I originally thought I would add bacon grease, but I don't think I'm going to. And then we're gonna make our pork and beans that I forgot to save onions for. So, we'll go with that. Oh, I'm recording again. So I'm just gonna take my same spatula that I used earlier and ah, fly, fling bacon everywhere. That was the lesson there to fling like bacon everywhere. All right, so I just want this to crisp up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead, my rice is done. I'm gonna grab it and bring it over here because I wanna go ahead and start putting rice into containers. But I want this to crisp up a little. I'm gonna put some garlic and onion powder right in with that oil so it'll release those spices. We're going to put pepper. I'm not going to put salt in until I know I need it. Oh, quick. I'm, I'm toasting too quickly. All right. I saved it from burning. All right. And now I'm going to dump my two cans of pork and beans. Juice and all. Here we go. my elegant version of rice and beans people add bacon turns elegant bougie, bougie. This, I don't know that this would be bougie <laughs> pork and beans and rice mm. all right so I'm just gonna let that heat through while I go grab the rice all right so I'm gonna let this keep going and then I'll taste test to see if I want to add any more spices or if it does need salt. But first, no, nothing is burning. I'm gonna fluff my rice. Ow, it's hot, sort of. I left it too long, probably. Are you on my video making fun of my non-rinsing rice, mother? All right. Let me pull a spoon out so I can taste these beans and winners. Pepper. Salt. Loud noises, courtesy of my mother. <laughs> I can't 
be the only one who has a loud mother. <laughs> She's like back there like, shh, don't tell on me. I really only have, I only need like two more meals. I'm gonna see how much I really get though. So I'm gonna divide it, this rice, into five, and then I'll see if I really have a lot of extra or something. And the rice is just that white rice with my one little chicken bouillon cube that I had left. Good, it looks like my beans are starting to boobla up a little bit. They're boobalas. I don't need to start a fire. What? That is gonna go into my video. Alright, so I would consider this enough rice for six. There might be a little extra. I'm just going to dump in. And then we'll take the beans and we need and put it right over the top. All right, so I'm going to do this and give myself a taste test. That's pretty good. All right. I just want it to bubble up a little bit more, so I turned the heat up a smidge. And then I'm going to spoon it over. All right, there we go. I am recording, yeah. That one is the big rice bowl, so I'm going to do it spoon by spoon, I think. One, one, one. look like pretty decent serving sizes. I think I'm going to go ahead and make it the two, four, six of them. So we got that. And I still have string cheese that I didn't use. So, and a couple of slices of bread. So I could also do a couple more grilled cheeses. Hmm. I'd say I did pretty good. Let's taste this. So we got my bacon, beans, and weenies, or pork and beans. It's not beans and weenies, it's pork and beans. I'm just going to mix it in with my rice. 
like that. Let's go in for a bite. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Beans and winnies with bacon and rice. Who knew? Thanks for joining me this week. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share if you like me to help my channel grow. I appreciate all of you for joining me. Have a great week. Bye.